there continues to be a slew of iPhone apps and iPad apps that have to do with photography. You might think, oh, this segment is done. And it's sort of like when Google came out with a search engine, everybody thought search was done. But uh, Pixable has an interesting way to, to organize your photos on your phone and on your iPad, and we're going to see it, and I'm pretty interested. <laughs>
Are you able to get inside path and, and uh, start showing me those photos too? Well, we, we'd love to. And, I, and actually, like a, at some point, we actually in, 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 in talked to Dave, and Dave actually really likes what we're doing, and he sees a lot of value. So uh, hopefully in the future, we, we will. For us, like our biggest goal is to really capture where most of the photos are first. And, and, and when I ask you, like, what are the photos that you want to see the most? It's always about friends and family. And yeah. that's what Facebook and Twitter are doing pretty well. And, and I think that PATH is really actually like stepping it up and, and Instagram also. So th these are two uh, sor uh, sources that we're very interested in looking at. Yeah. How do you make a business out of this? Because, you know, I was talking to a VC, uh, a, a venture capitalist the other day, and, and he was like, yeah, Instagram is really sexy and yeah. gets on the Super Bowl and has, I don't know, 12 million users, whatever it is. Yeah. But he says, how, do, how are they going to make a business with that? Making a business out of photography is really tough. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And like, in fact, like even the flickers of the world, they, they have a lot of, ma a lot of traffic and, and they still struggle. I think that there's two big things that for us are really interesting. The first one is that we're very optimized in mobile and we have like heavy usage. So it's not all, all about having one and a half million installs, which is great. It's more about having the fact of 20% of people come in every day. So there's a lot of usage. And then the second thing is that this is really an experience that is made for photos. And these are, and, and we really think that photos is the ultimate uh, way of social recommendation. It's almost like selling an experience. And for example, we've done a lot of little uh, pilot programs that have proven that uh, this is the case. So one thing that we did with uh, GoPro cameras is that we actually had a special feed. Like, so you're looking at all the f photos of your friends and you're like, oh, I want to see actually all the uh, photos from GoPro. And you're looking at these photos and they're about an experience. Right, and you're like, wow! Like, yeah. I want to take a photo of me surfing like that. And that's what that's what that's how we think we can sell. Like, we can we think that we can do a, a lot of advertising in terms of like you're looking at photos and you're like, wow, this is a great experience. And a little bit like Pixaza, I don't know if you're familiar with them, that they t actually try to tag objects on top of a photo. Yeah. So you're like, wow, like a. Um, let's say that you're looking at uh, photos of celebrities and then she has a beautiful jeans and you're like, wow, I want to buy these jeans and being able to serve as lead generation because that's what social recommendation is, is looking at a photo of somebody that you admire and saying, I want this from them. And, and it's, a, it's a very ambitious project, but we firmly believe that there is a lot of opportunity there. It sounds a little bit like you're heading toward a competition with Pinterest. Is that true? Well, I, I mean, when you talk like that, that's what P Pinterest is all about and people do these... Uh, Huge boards of wedding dresses. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I think that they, I, I think that. I think that there are a lot of similarities with us and Pinterest. I, I just think that the initial use case of why people would use Pixable versus using Pinterest is fairly different, right? Like you don't go to Pinterest because you want to see what your friends are doing. You want to see what your tastemaker slash friends, some of them are are doing, and and I think that. There could be some relationship in, in terms of how you monetize, like thinking about like, uh, like a lot of people advertise, uh, monetize through lead generation, but I think that the use case of how we reach there is, is fairly different. And we actually are big admirers of what Ben and the rest of the Pinterest team is doing. So, yeah, yeah. They're, they're on a tear. Um, you're a, it, it's February 2012, and you just shipped a new feature, right? Yes, yes, what, we what actually did. Do? So Pixable, as in today, has been a, an exp a beautiful experience for consuming photos. And we've been asking ourselves really strong, it's like, well, there's, there's a great experience out there because you're just discovering content all the time. Like, what is next for us? And the big thing that our users uh, have been telling us a lot is that they really, like they saw a photo that was great, the best of the day yesterday, and it's gone. And that's what happens in social media, right? Like you have this friend that just posted this hilarious photo and then you go back to Facebook and if you, don't for you forgot who's that friend, you, re you really kind of missed out. And that's what hashtagging, photo hashtagging is. And it's something that we actually have told our friends from, from Twitter, it's like, wow, you have the opportunity of almost having a special character. For, uh, instead of using a hashtag for a, for a keyword, you can have a new character for hashtagging photos. And we've been actually pushing a lot of Twitter to do that. And, and because they didn't do it, we said, well, we have to do this ourselves. And so the whole point of photo hashtagging is that, let's say I'm looking at photos and then I'm like, wow, this is a, this is a great photo of a sunset. And I can actually hashtag it as a sunset. And then it, for me, I can actually go back and revisit all those moments that are sunset to actually take it to another level. Now, I, would that be just your uh, sunsets or would that be everybody's sunsets? It would, be, it would be within your social graph and all the photos that you're discovering, all the sunsets that you're actually hashtagging okay. them. So all your friends, all your friends, set the sunsets. Exactly. Not everybody's sunsets, but just your friends. Exactly. So, so something that it, it, it's been a really hard problem to solve is like 
a collaboration within photos. So let's say that we, we both go to South by, right? Mm -hmm. And you take a lot of photos and I'm hashtagging. And, and we have the ability of hashtagging together photos of South by, and then we can create a beautiful collection of all the South by Southwest photos. And this can work in two ways. First, we, we tween friends. If we're Facebook friends, we can actually create a hashtag and collaborately, or then we can actually go global. And we can say, well, let's just uh, start hashtagging and sharing with the world all the South by Southwest photos. And this is actually a project that we're going to introduce in South by Southwest, which is like we're going to introduce a stream of all the photos that you're seeing in South by Southwest. Now, that could get really nuts if everybody really participates. Yeah. Can we separate it to like Gary V party <laughs> at, at South by or Mashable party or yeah, it's it's or kind of rack spaces party. Yeah, you know, it, because it's all about parties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Unless you're in the panel, <laughs> boring panel. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that we can do that in two ways. The first one is that like I think that every different venue in South by actually has a special hashtag. So that's a that's a very straightforward way of actually saying okay, we're going to get from Twitter this specific hashtag. And then the other things that we're doing is that we can actually divide them by recency, friends, or popularity. So very easily, like if you take a photo that you get retweeted a lot, it's actually going to surface much higher than somebody else taking a photo. So that, that's yeah. the way that we were trying to, to do this. We'll play with that de definitely. I'm going to yeah, be no, we're really South excited by. about that, and we're really excited about South by Southwest this so year. So there'll be a new version coming out that lets me do these these new kinds of hashtags, yes. Yes. photo hashtags. Exactly. And it's, it's really exciting because I think that f photos until today have been organized by person and by album. And this has worked really well in the past because before it, photos were about going to this trip together and taking a lot of photos and storing them by them. But now every day I'm just taking photos and photos and photos and I'm using it as communicating uh, different, thing, different things. And by us hashtagging photos, we're organizing in a way that makes sense. Like saying, I want to look at all the food photos of my friends. Yeah. I want to look at all the trip photos of my friends. And By the way, are you looking at food spotting photos? We're not, but we're of course we're extremely interested. That, in, but you are looking at four square photos. Uh, no, we're not. Oh, you're not. I thought yeah. you. I thought you mentioned that. Yeah. Sorry. So, so for location, <coughs> uh, we're very interested. In, we're already pulling Instagram, but for location, we want we want to start okay. pulling Instagram in Foursquare. Okay. Yeah. Well, Foursquare is getting photos from food spotting now. So really. Yeah. Okay. So you, I took sushi pictures last night, and they're being pushed over to uh, Foursquare for the location. Wow. For that the, uh, that makes sushi perfect restaurant. sense. Nice. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit, because our show is called Small Teams, Big Impacts. How are you building your company, and what, what's that like, and, and what are the technologies you're using? Sure, sure. Right now, we're a team of 18 people. Uh, most of us are engineers, and uh, we pretty much uh, realized that this is actually a harder problem to solve than we thought, because we're, we don't store any photos, so we're doing just a lot of API calls to all these different repositories. And for it to be very impactful, it, it really has to be real time. So you, we have a lot of API calls to Facebook, a lot of APIs, API calls to Twitter happening sim simultaneously. So um, we, we were first very focused on web, and we actually saw a lot of growth since day one, because people actually are complaining about they, they want to see f Facebook photos in a better way. But then when we actually released mobile, which was a small experiment at the time, we just saw how people were coming back in such an aggressive way. And we were like, well, this is really where we have to bet uh, everything. And we just think that iPad and iPhone are such a great way of looking at photos. And it's just starting. So yeah. it's really exciting. So pretty much um, at, at, until this point, we've been able to raise a, a money from Highland Capital and Menlo Ventures to build a team. And and yeah, like uh, right now, we're very focused on iOS in general. And and yeah, like uh, pretty much the way that we're structured, the company is at uh, LAMP stack, and uh, it's pr pretty straightforward. And, and for iOS, we just do native uh, Objective-C. Uh, do you have a tip for how to get so many users? Because you, you have, what, one, more than a million users? Yeah, now. yeah. And it, it's actually, for us, it, it was really hard at the beginning. It, like, we were able to acquire a lot of users in the web, but not so much in the iPhone. And we've had a, lot, a, a, a few little things that, 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 that work really well. Like, Apple really enjoys what we've done, and we've been featured. But being featured uh, can give you, let's say, 100,000 downloads maybe at a time. So it's not that impactful. But what we've been very smart about is that we use Facebook Connect. And Facebook has been more and more aggressive with their HTML5 platform. And we've understood very, very well how to actually get people from doing Facebook Connect on the web and passing them to mobile. And the, the main way that we do this is through the bookmark. So now, like, let's say that I get you to use Pixel on the web, which is not so hard. Like, creating virality on the web is not as hard as mobile. And then there's a, there's a significant percentage of people who actually then go to Facebook 
they open their they open and they look at the bookmarks and Pixable is there, and then they can install in iTunes. And yep. that has been a huge success for us. And now we're we're actually going to be partners in the ticker, and we believe that that's even going to help us more. And it's great so because you're, you're going to adopt the Open Graph. Yes, of APIs. course. Yeah. No, for for us it's great because like. Now, and when you look at a Facebook's API, it says, it, Robert has been tagged in a photo, and now I can say, Robert tagged this photo as funny. And mm -hmm. it's something that Facebook doesn't have, so that's really exciting. Very cool. cool. Where do we learn more about you guys? Oh, yeah, you can go to pixel.com, and you can check us out in the iTunes store. Uh, we're featured right now as Camera Essentials. So, like, very cool. uh, yeah, it's very, been very exciting times. Very cool. Congrats, um, and uh, thanks for showing it to me. Yeah, no, thank you so much. It's a pleasure.